Okay, so I think I've come up with an option here for this Harbor Freight 1x30. Um, platen on it's pretty small, so once you have your belt on there, you can only really work small blades without having any deflect in the belt. So what I've done is I've had a piece of scrap left over from uh, my build on my frame for my forge over here. Built a little kicker to hold my longer stock. <clears throat> Second welds over here so it'd give a little more support for the forge on my cage. So I had this little piece left over. So what I did was up here on the top it's got this little lip on it right underneath the top wheel. So I took the piece, took a grinder to it, notched out a little wheel, set it set it next to the original platen, get the height on it, notched it out so it'd slide behind the wheel right at the top of it did a little camphor on it so it wouldn't rub on the edge of the steel you'll have to adjust the screws that are behind the platen slide it back a little bit so you can get a true center so it'll be straight up and down but once I tack weld the inside of it should run pretty good um, I know you guys are going to give me crap about the uh, safety on this, so I'm going to drop a belt on here real fast. Hold it in place by hand, which you shouldn't do. Do not do this at home. runs pretty good. Now it gives you the full length of it. Still got to adjust it back a little bit. But as you can see, instead of having a little, what, two, three inch. Yeah, about three inches. Now you have the full face of it which now gives you six inches so you can work a little bit bigger steel. Hope this helps somebody out. Tried it again last night. I put a little clamp on it and it seemed to work pretty good on a little bit larger blade. And it works great if you you got little tiny ones you want to do it back and forth all day long but this will help you out if you got a bigger blade that you need to straighten out or smooth. Hope it helps you. Thanks.